here with baby Zeke today. It's so good to see you. Today, we are going to have some singing and then a story and learning time and then we'll even be doing an activity. So we hope you have fun and we'll see you at the end. God made me, he made everything. God loves me, he can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and he loves me. When I look up, 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 I know he's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he He's real when I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him He rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me, he loves me. Hey everybody, welcome back It's great to see you again We've been learning a lot of things about Jesus and the Bible and especially we've been looking at the Gospels which are the first four books of the Bible Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and in those books they tell us all about Jesus and his life and today we've got another story where Jesus tells a story and it's going to be a great story I want you to have a listen and see if you can tell me who does Jesus direct the story to and why does he tell it? Because Jesus is someone special that came from God. We're going to talk about that at the end. I'll see you soon. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the great banquet. This is Jesus. hey -oh. Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, my gosh. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus went to eat at the house of a Pharisee. He said to the Pharisee who was hosting the meal, when you give a dinner, do not invite your friends, your family, or your rich neighbors, for they will invite you back, and that will be your only reward. But invite the poor and those who have trouble seeing and walking. Then God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. When a man at the table heard what Jesus said, Ahem. he said to Jesus, What a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied with a story. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. Already! When the banquet was ready, he sent his servant to tell the guests, Come, the banquet is ready. Ah! But they all began making excuses. One said, I have just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five pairs of oxen and I want to try them out. Please excuse me. Another said, I just got married, so I can't come.
The servant returned and told his master what they had said. What? No way. His master was furious and said, go quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and invite the poor. And those who have trouble seeing and walking. After the servant had done this, he reported, there is still room for more. Great, all right. So his master said, go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. For none of those I first invited will get even the smallest taste of my banquet. Wow, what a great story Jesus told. Who doesn't love going to a party? Who was Jesus talking to, especially in that story? He was having dinner with some, did you hear? Some Pharisees. Pharisees were the teachers of the law, a little bit like pastors, except that they were very different because back in the Bible, they didn't understand who Jesus was. They were looking for the Messiah, the promised one from God, but they were expecting a king with a crown. And you know what? Jesus is a king, but he came with a different kind of a kingdom. His kingdom is kind of upside down. Jesus said, the first will be last and the last will be first. He said, put others first before yourself. He also said, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Most people in today's world tell us you need to get for yourself. But Jesus says it's better to give to others first. It's better to serve others first. It's better to be like the story. Instead of inviting your friends, invite people to parties that don't have friends. Be kind to those who you wouldn't normally be kind to or you wouldn't normally like because that's Jesus' kingdom. His kingdom is a bit different to what people expect, but that's what he asks of us, because that's our reward, is that we will be in heaven with Jesus one day, when his kingdom will really come, and we'll really see him as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. It's really exciting, but for you, you can remember that Jesus wants us to make a difference in this world. He wants us to be kind to other people, especially our brothers and sisters, but also those kids at school or at kinder or at playgroup, the ones that you wouldn't normally play with. You can play with and be extra kind to. You can be extra kind to mum and dad. You can be extra kind because Jesus wants us to be. He is a king like no other king. And it's awesome and it's exciting to be in Jesus' kingdom. Let's pray and thank God and Jesus that we can be in his kingdom. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you that your kingdom is different and that you want us to love and show kindness and care to other people. Pray this week that you would help us to be that kind of a person. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, Amen.
to see you. We hope you've been having a lot of fun at Kids Church so far today. It's now time for us to do the craft. So mum and dad, there's going to be a link that comes up below, which is where you can find the parent guide for this week and the crafts that the kids can do. So everyone, let me show you what we're going to do today. Here we have a special colouring for you to do, which has Jesus and all the people that he's telling a story to. The other side, we also have a special crown. So you get to colour this all in, and if you flip it upside down, there's a special message. So make sure you ask mum and dad to help you read that message. There's also a game that you can play. So there's the instructions on the parent guide, and you get to play a fun game of musical statues with mum and dad today. So make sure that you post all your pictures of what you create today and even a video of doing musical statues and we can't wait to see them. Hope you have lots of fun. Kids, we hope you had so much fun at Kids Church today. We certainly did. We hope you have a wonderful week and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye. See you say bye. Bye. We'll see you later. Let me see.